Hello folks, Andrew from Yellow Happy Games here. Another kind of video that's kind of, you know, wandering aloud, kind of podcasty stuff. Sorry for the pops. If you hear pops, I, I ask you to apologize me. Now, this is a time lapse basically going down there, and time to time I have this terrible idea on creating basically stuff myself so i i'm maybe doing you know a video about something and i and and i realize that that doesn't exist or maybe exists but i just don't know that it that exists i i force myself to ignore it that it maybe may exist and this is the the way i created an input map loader or and saver basically Godot engine don't have a, an input map loader or exporter so basically each time you start a new project you need to create it from the beginning you know? and it's not that much waste of time because basically you just go there and waste five minutes or ten minutes i don't know each each one has its its time sensation and its time conception so um i started creating this now it doesn't exist because i don't know why why um, godot and gene uh, developers didn't thought about this but maybe it may come in future and I started searching because the best way you can make something is actually to copy from someone else and that way you learn basically how to make that and I started looking around and I found someone that actually made something similar but he, he, he claims to create to import basically input maps from unity and so on and I started uh, with the idea to make it the easiest way for me uh, and the easiest way for me is actually to not go and learn a lot of stuff but and don't waste a lot of time now the time lapse here just took me something like eight nine hours of work so <laughs> it wasn't that you know it was quite expensive in terms of time but it wasn't that uh, cheap in terms of time but you know I'm stupid and I kept kept going now fact here is that I wanted to create this thing and I learned how to dock stuff and a few hours um, maybe an hour or an hour and a half uh, I wasted just looking how to <laughs> improve VS code basically I wanted to to have readable code from Godot in, inside VS Code and I definitely, you know, uh, gave up on, on that because I didn't want to, you know, to, to waste more time and I started by looking how to actually have and access the properties of Godot and the easiest way to me look that I can definitely um, act on editors settings but it, it looks kind of buggy to me this this um, this part here because basically if you go under editor interface and all this stuff project settings somehow you have no ability in changing that by code or or at least I didn't find a way so I kept looking for for stuff basically and I lost a lot of time because before realizing that probably there's a bug or there's something uh, lacking there and going under github or reddit and stuff like that you easily can find that um, people just asked the dev to, to implement a better way to to access all this stuff and you you know you you keep writing uh, testing and here I'm trying again and again but somehow I, I didn't have the conception of to interact with with uh, project settings at all 
and that was kind of a waste of time because uh, in order to to access to that you need to write down project settings project uh, you need to to access these singletons from godot and a lot of try and uh, trial and error basically when they there and that was because a, I needed basically to to find a way to to load stuff, you know, to to actually change stuff. And the best way that I thought was actually to go and this is the wrong way basically, is is the worst thing you can do. Go and manually change basically the um project.godot that's kind of the, your uh, the Godot skeleton of your project you know? and it's not the best way you can do to to change stuff you shouldn't touch that file there <laughs> but I, I I do touch that with with this plugin I that's why I, I keep uh, make a lot of you know uh, a lot of uh, writings uh, be aware be aware here be aware there on on the plugin page because be aware you can definitely damage your your project so don't do this if your project is in later stages you can use this plugin just if this is not in later stages so basically don't do this <laughs> it's it's your choice if you want to risk everything and basically here yeah, here I'm trying to get shortcuts now the point is this you can change this uh, file here by script but the fact is that it's time you change it and save it Godot like Godot and Gene actually understands that and he tries to reload everything it it makes an you need to make an extra step and I want to avoid that extra step step basically now in Godot 3.4 and 3.5 basically you can reload the project and under project you go under project and you can reload that you can go there and you can basically decide even a shortcut for that and the idea is since there is no shortcut by default for this option I thought I can go and change <laughs> you know that shortcut and set that shortcut by code uh, via plugin once that the the, the the user uploads this plugin you know uses this plugin uh, I think that's quite you know uh, quite the thing I, I wish there was a way so I I put myself under all this get settings, uh, project settings, to find a way. No way was found, actually. I have no idea how to do this, how to to set that that parameter there, that property, that shortcut. So definitely, there are um, these values are stored somewhere, and I went to the Godot project 3 something like that you can find it under your steam page or your your Godot folder and going there you can actually find out all your shortcuts that you made for your project but I think that changing that file by by manually let's say let's say it this way manually but even by code it may really damage your the good old engine itself so I, I didn't want to go that way and so I realized that I have no way to 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 create a, a shortcut for the player and emulate that shortcut basically so to reboot the file uh, to reboot the engine once the the loading was done and so so happened that I just went with that in mind, you know, with my broken heart, because I failed, and I went and I decided that, okay, that's fine, I'm going to let the player do that, the user, sorry, the user do that extra step, and, you know, 
an extra step is not going to to be that that annoying probably I said but I know that that's kind of a pain in the butt so basically uh, a lot of things happen here because now I open the the project.godome and I try basically to you know to to store to store data inside you know? and um, I, I was not sure if I could store data right there um, and I, I I found out that basically the Godot that project has a format a syntax that is like an ini file from Windows and that was quite quite interesting because that way I can check if there's the section input because if there is no input section basically uh, I can save that I can save an empty file and that was important actually because this way I go and take that input section and I save that as just a file I'm calling it with my own extension no my input dot input and that way I can take that the text file and just put it append it I, I wish there was a way to append stuff here and put it inside um, the project project.gazo now the fact here is that you can definitely uh, take all the data you can receive all this data from the configure file no but you have to format that and and I didn't want to format the data. Uh, I mean, I want easy, easy stuff. I don't, I don't want to go all the through, through all that process of formatting data. And that was something that basically came like that. Since I didn't want, I'm going to take the text. I'm going to find out when it starts and when it ends, and I'm going to export that text. And I'm going to put the text inside Godot. Now I I learned that Godot file basically the project that Godot. Once you put some uh, sections inside, it takes it and it auto formats in the right position basically. And that that's quite important because each time I loaded uh, this file basically i i watched that there was there there was a physics that was following that that project now the fact is this i don't know if uh, future versions of godot will have physics or if you're uh, going to 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 use uh, different stuff in a in a different way inside the project i don't know if, if how you set the project basically your own project i don't know if that would actually affect the position of each section inside the godot file so that was important for me to check out which this array of you know of sections and find out if which was the following one if the input i'm i'm looking for the input section basically when saving i mean this and if there is another section that is following i need to know because that way i find the right dimension of this section because i'm i'm getting it as a text so i'm not i don't want to format it i get it as a text store it like that and but i need to know exactly how long this thing is the length of this big string big chunk of text and that was made by by basically doing that going and checking that the kind of of input section uh, array retrieving that now i was doing some tests again because i wanted to to make this work via via script now i wanted that uh the the whole project rebooted once you loaded the thing but it it didn't work it didn't work i mean 
I'm not one that gives up so easily, so that's why I, I lost a lot of time on this stuff. The struggle is real here, because time to time, you know, you kind of say, I, I know nothing, I, I don't know what I'm doing here, why am I doing at all this thing? <laughs> so basically, um, I made some text on watching if the input map basically saves in the right way, and probably it's not, it doesn't appear that much here in this section because it's kind of off screen, but it kind of was working. And here I, I just w was trying to, 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 to see if there are, there, there are next section, there is a next section. And that way I was writing this function to, to find this next section. Now, as long as, as it works, here you can see down in the debugging output that it gives us uh, some some array with some data inside. And the next section of input actually is uh, physics in this case, but I don't know how long this may, may be there. And uh, since that um, we had the that data basically, I just started to to work with the next section basically and I didn't want to retrieve that next section by understanding the right position in the array of my uh, section, the input section and adding basically one to that section and retrieving the new data. That was important so this way we can basically decide you know, where to cut the text. And like you can see, there's a reload button. Yeah, it's still there, but I, I don't want that. And here I was again trying <laughs> if there is a way that I can get that, you know, that reloading shortcut working without the, the user knowing that thing. And not that's not happening I mean if I I gave up earlier 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 on this th thing probably I would have saved a lot of time and that's pretty sad <laughs> pretty sad but you know the results are coming and you need to to work your ass until everything works but I gave up definitely right here basically that that was not working for me, and that's fine, that's fine. Now, the, the plugin works, actually, and it's, it's okay. Um, it, it can save and it can reload stuff. Actually, the version that I published for the first time in, uh, on GitHub, it was not working, working at all because it kind of didn't save or didn't load. I don't remember this, but it, it was struggling with finding the, the right data, basically, because a variable was written in the wrong way, something like that, basically. The find function, I think the find method wasn't working properly. Properly. So I had to, to change that and uh, uh, I asked some help from from people online as well if there was a version <laughs> where I could use you know, you know to, to to use my shortcut <laughs> there if I find a way I definitely up update this thing but it was not it, I didn't find a way at all so writing some info here um, and how to use that and here I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to show you how does this work at, at least uh, if it's working, you know. I have a video that, that I posted on GitHub, uh, these two videos on saving and loading. Now, the, the fact here is that if you want to load or save data, uh, basically if you want to load an input map, I really highly suggest that you save your input map once you're done once you saved it basically you just 
create a zip file with the plugin inside and the the input map inside so this way you can have it and you can load the plugin each time you want from the zip file and it's ready to be used because here the 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 plugin just uses the add-on folder basically but that's fine and I'd say another thing here and uh, the fact is that probably I'm going to update this as soon as I can because obviously I'm a little bit busy but once uh, I was thinking to to give the user more more freedom on using maybe a list of inputs choosing the name of the inputs uh, of the input save and not only that but uh, saving the files maybe on the, under the user folder it might be easier for the for the you know the the user to to access it and choose what it wants okay guys thank you for watching um, I really appreciate it and hopefully you learned something or I was I was keeping you company this was wandering a lot from Android Yellow Hat Games here. So, see you soon. Subscribe, leave a like, and comment down below. And keep devin' games.